Hi guys, recently I made these cranberry and almond scones and they were so delicious and really festive as well for this time of year. I served them up with my Christmas spiced marmalade to really push the Christmas boat out. That recipe is in the description below. These scones really are so easy, perfect for anyone who's not used to baking. Start off by adding 500 grams of self-raising flour to a mixing bowl. If you only have plain flour, just use 500 grams of that, but whisk in three and a bit teaspoons of baking powder. Now add one more teaspoon of baking powder for another little bit of rice and gently mix that in with a whisk. This is instead of having to sift the dry ingredients. It's a lot easier to do it this way, but it's actually not quite as effective. Now add 120 grams of butter that's been cubed and chilled and just break them up with your fingers so that the flour will look like breadcrumbs. It's actually a lot easier to do this if you have a food processor, but I kind of didn't want to have to wash the thing afterwards. I probably should have done it because this did take a little bit of time. Next, add 100 grams of caster sugar and mix that all up as well with your fingers. Now set the bowl aside just while you mix up your wet ingredients. I have 200 milliliters of milk here and I'm just going to crack in two large free range eggs. Next, I'm going to add a little drop of almond extract. This stuff is gorgeous. It's so nice and everything. Maybe about a teaspoon's worth. Now go ahead and whisk all that up with a fork just until the egg is nicely dispersed throughout the milk. Now just bring back the dry ingredients and pour the wet ingredients into them and mix it through with a knife. You don't have to be too thorough here. This is a very, very rough bake. Now take 100 grams of halved cranberries. Don't worry if you taste one now. They will taste disgusting, but once they're baked, they really change. Add them in and then mix them through with a wooden spoon. Then, once they're nice and dispersed, lightly flour your work surface and tip the dough out onto it. Lightly flour the top of the dough and then flatten it out into a kind of an oval shape that's about an inch thick. Now take a pastry cutter and you'll need to dip that in flour as well because this dough is quite moist and just start cutting out scone shapes. Then gather up the remaining dough and repeat the process again, just flatten it out so it's an inch thick and start cutting. Now take a large baking sheet lined with parchment and transfer the scones onto it. I got nine from this recipe. Now take another beaten egg and just brush the top of each scone with it. This will give it a really nice glaze and kind of a golden colour. Then I took a couple of tablespoons of flaked almonds and sprinkled them over the top of each scone. Then I gave each scone a little sprinkling of sugar just to give it a little bit of crunch and help it caramelise. Now transfer them to a hot oven at 220 degrees Celsius and let them bake for 13 minutes. By then they should have risen nicely and be nice and golden. Let them cool in the tray for just a couple of minutes before you transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. Thanks a million for watching guys. I hope you give this recipe a go. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also check me out on social media. You'll find all the links to my accounts in the description below. And over on my blog, you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.